Another woke DEI corporate program bites the dust. Patriot activist Robbie Starbuck has struck again. We're going to see the latest company to turn its back on the far left, and we're going to see why woke DEI programs are indeed destined for the ash heap of history. Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your Patriot Professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we dive into things here, gang, I gotta ask you, if you're like me, do you have trouble falling asleep at night? <laughs> because I know I do. I, I'm a horrible sleeper. For me, I, I just can't turn off my brain. I'm just tossing and turning, frankly, for a couple of hours before I'm able to fall asleep. But gang, I've come across something that has absolutely revolutionized my life. It's called Beam Dream, and it has completely changed the way I sleep. All I do is I sip a nice hot cup of Beam Dream, and I kid you not, I'm out like a light, and I have the most restful sleep ever all throughout the night. It's become a nightly ritual of mine that I look forward to. Plus, I never wake up feeling groggy the next day. Instead, I'm feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. And they're offering Turley Talks listeners an exclusive discount site-wide for a limited time. So just click the QR code on the screen or use the link below to get the best night's sleep you've had in years and propel your wellness journey to the next stage. Click that QR code on the screen or go to shopbeam.com slash Turley Talks. That's shopbeam dot com slash Turley Talks for your amazing discount. A couple of weeks back, Patriot activist Robbie Starbuck revealed to his 600 plus thousand followers on X about the radical woke DEI initiatives that were taking place at Toyota and Lexus, including things like involvement in drag queen programs, which involve working with kids. They're support of the Equality Act, donating to groups that support child transitions, and of course, diversity, equity, and inclusion trainings, DEI. Now, what Robbie does as a consumer advocate is he tells these companies, hey, I'm visiting your website here. I'm finding all this woke DEI stuff you're involved in. You better tell me how you're going to cease and desist in all of that, or I'm going to go public to my very sizable audience, and I'm basically going to Bud Light you. Well, as it turns out, Toyota didn't seem to originally recognize how influential Robbie is. And so, as I understand it, they ignored him. Not a good thing to do. Robbie went public with the information, exposing all of the insanely woke activities that Toyota sponsored of late, what they forced on their employees, the far left laws they're promoting. Now, of course, Toyota, which is an international, massive international corporation. They're in, they operate in over 170 countries. Of course, they're not doing anything like this in any of the other countries they're in. They're, they're not doing anything like this, say, in Saudi Arabia. Do, you could do what I did. Go to their Saudi Arabia site and check it out. Go throughout the entire site. You won't see a single thing that even remotely resembles a DEI program. In fact, I venture that you won't find anything DEI related on any of their other international sites. It's, it's just here. It's just here in the United States. I wonder why that is. And so Robbie exposed these woke lunatics over at Toyota and Lexus. And now, gang, as of this week, here's Robbie's latest report. This is so freaking cool. Toyota and Lexus have publicly agreed to no more involvement in pride parades, pride events, or LGBTQ children's summer camps. That's done. That's over. They'll no longer participate in the human rights campaign's ultra-woke corporate equality index social credit system, as he calls it. Keep in mind, Robbie is crushing these companies that used to get a hundred percent rating in this ridiculous corporate equality index system. And he's right. He's it, it's nothing more than a WEF initiated social credit system on par with anything like what you would find in Beijing. All BRG activities, that's business resource groups, must be focused on the core business of Toyota and be open to all. Well, what do you know about that? 
You know, you know, that's the thing I noticed when perusing Toyota's Saudi Arabia site. It was all about how great their cars were. When you looked at their vision statement, their mission statement, it was all about their absolute commitment to making the best possible car on the planet. What do you know about that? What a great idea. A car company focusing on making the best freaking cars imaginable. What do you know about that? Focus on automotive engineering, not far left social engineering. What a great idea. Robbie said it best, quote, this is a massive win for sanity. And it is most certainly that. Now, if you don't know, this is but the latest in a whole series of wins uh, for Robbie Starbuck. Just a few weeks back, he took on home improvement chain Lowe's. The corporate headquarters there had to inform their employees that Lowe's would cease funding pride events and will no longer participate in the corporate equality index conducted by the HRC, the Human Rights Campaign. This announcement was made after Robbie contacted Lowe's the previous week, inquiring about their DEI policies and basically threatened to expose them if they did not abandon their far-left social and cultural agenda. And he's done the same with companies like Tractor Supply, Harley-Davidson. They also have abandoned their woke DEI initiatives. Now, what Robbie Starbuck is brilliantly exploiting here is the profound unpopularity of wokeness. What the Bud Light fiasco revealed several months back for all corporations to see is just how sick and fed up the supermajority of the nation is with all of this woke absurdity being shoved down our throats. Remember, what basically happened after the George Floyd riots in 2020 was that more and more corporations were basically deputized by radically left civil rights organizations, particularly BLM, to start promoting and pushing all of this far-left woke social engineering through their rank and file, all in the name of a far-left notion of justice and equity. And these radical woke organizations were successful, not because these corporations believed in their nonsense. They'll drop it like a bad habit, as you're seeing right now. They don't believe in this stuff. No, these far left organizations were successful because they threatened the corporations with mass boycotts if they didn't comply. And given that the legacy media at the time were the biggest champions for BLM and this woke activism, Most of these corporations bent the knee to this stuff. What the Bud Light fiasco proved is that the backlash of consumers against this woke turn by the corporations was far worse than anything the woke activists could muster against them. And so what Robbie is tapping into is the petrified fear that all these corporations have in facing a comparable backlash by the consumer. And now Robbie has been as successful in getting companies to cease and desist their DEI programs as BLM and other radical leftist organizations were in getting those programs instituted in the first place. And both Robbie and the woke activists are tapping into the power of what's called consumer politics, where consumers are increasingly voting with their dollars. And as it turns out, woke radicalism has become so repulsive to more and more of the population that woke activists have lost all leverage when it comes to consumer politics. And so that's why we can be assured that with consumer advocates like Robbie, the days of DEI are indeed coming to an end. Now, you can learn more about Robbie Starbuck and his work and support him by clicking on the link below. We have no affiliation. I've actually never, uh, ever met uh, Robbie, but I'm just so thankful and so supportive of what he's doing. So just click on that link below to learn about his work and what you can do to support it.